how can a real estate agent wholesale property uh, first and foremost I always one of the advices one of the pieces of pieces of advice that I give is if you are a real estate agent and you want to be a real estate investor um, life is going to be a little bit easier for you if you are if you hang your license under an investor friendly broker however if you have been doing investing under a traditional agent continue to do that um, you have a relationship there you all have things worked out there continue to do that um, wholesaling can be tricky you know if you are licensed oftentimes in the past I've oftentimes I'll come across wholesalers uh, as they tell me that they're wholesalers but in furthering the conversation I begin to realize that all oh, you know they're there and they tell me as well that they're actually licensed uh, many of you have to be careful with that um, I would say all of you have to be careful with that uh, unless you're with uh, if you have something worked out with your broker um, having your license with a real uh, an investor friendly broker uh, makes life a little bit easier <laughs> because they know where you're coming from and they invest in real estate and they understand creative real estate finance and, and that type of thing and so one of the things that I'm going to tell you about is this thing called double closing double closing on a deal okay um, that's when so let me give you an example of a double closing and another term we're going to talk about is transactional funding okay so let me give you an example so basically you have a seller that has a property for two hundred thousand dollars okay the value is two hundred thousand dollars not the sale price the value of that property is two hundred thousand dollars that seller is willing to sell that property for whatever reason for one hundred thousand dollars you the agent investor buy that property for one hundred thousand dollars you have a cash buyer that comes and buys that property from you for one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars so let me break that scenario down this goes from a to b and then b to c the a is the seller the b is the agent investor and the C is the cash investor on the back end that's going to buy the deal from you, the investor slash agent. So, um, what is going to happen with this thing called transactional funding? Is this uh, transactional funding is pretty is is merely ten temporary funding for investors who want to go ahead and do flips, flip deals. Uh, who want to go ahead? That's a, the, just a short term for uh, who want to buy flip, uh, uh, deals, uh, deals that have equity. And so, you buy the property for one hundred thousand dollars. Your cash buyer buys it from you for one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. You, as the investor, when everything closes, make fifteen thousand dollars with transactional funding. Funding, you're going to pay anywhere between a half a percent to two percent. Okay. So on one hundred thousand dollars, you're going to pay anywhere between between five hundred dollars and two thousand dollars. You're also going to pay some transfer tax fees. Um, so let's assume, just for conversation's sake, you are going to go ahead and you are going to pay, in terms of fees, anywhere in the ballpark of let's say three thousand dollars when it comes to transactional funding costs, as well as um, any. Uh, uh, any fees associated uh, with real estate okay um, and that could be um, typically that's transfer tax fees okay so what's gonna happen from there is once you get those fees taken out then you got to deal with your broker and your broker wants a slice as well so with a traditional broker they're gonna want their slice with a uh, uh, investor friendly broker 
You can talk to him about that. Uh, they can potentially be more flexible when it comes to things like that because they know what you're getting ready to do before you're getting ready to get into it. The way to lower some of these costs is to negotiate whatever that is on the front end. So you bought that property from that seller for $100,000. What about buying that property from that seller for, let's say you go ahead and you buy that property for $97,000 to kind of help you with some of those fees. The, the reason I'm talking about transactional funding when it comes to wholesaling real estate as a licensed agent is it is a cleaner transaction. You are actually closing on the deal and then you're reselling the deal and they're closing on the deal. So when you close transactional funding, let's say you close on March 5th, your cash buyer comes in March 5th and closes on that deal March 5th. Transactional funding only lasts for several hours and then you close that deal. That is transactional funding. All it is is temporary funding to fund the transaction. That is it. How this works is this. You need an investor friendly title company, escrow, someone that understands double closing. It'll make your life a heck of a lot easier. Okay. So if you are a licensed agent and you're looking to wholesale real estate, you want to really look to close on the deal, resell it, then close on it as opposed to assigning the contract. Okay. Let's, let's just, let's just be upfront. One of the reasons investors, um, who are also agents don't want to um, let the broker know that they're well they don't want anyone to know that they're doing assignments is because of money you know that, that typically if, if that agent is working for a broker they're going to have to go ahead and split some of those monies and some of those profits with that broker but at the same time there is a there's a gray area when straight up assigning contracts when it comes to wholesaling and being a licensed agent okay you are you are held to a higher standard a standard there's a code of ethics that is involved and so you want to be careful there so if you want a clean break do transactional funding learn that learn double closes and deal with a an investor friendly title company who will make your life a heck of a lot easier Below this video, I'm going to have some videos of just how transactional funding works, double closing, as well as an investor-friendly title company. If you need transactional funding for anything, um, there is going to be a link in the description of a company uh, that is, is an affiliate link of a company that can go ahead and take care of you. All transactional funding is is temporary funding to go ahead and close the deal. Wholesalers even use transactional funding. One of the reasons they use it is because sometimes buyers freak out at the closing table because the wholesaler is making so much money. And some sellers, they, they you know, some sellers like, well, how come they're making so much? You know, so, I mean, some sellers freak out, some don't care. But that's the deal, okay? If you are a licensed agent, think about using transactional funding to go ahead and close the deal. Because then... Yes, you can wholesale all day long. It is wholesaling. That's it. As an agent, it's just a cleaner way to go ahead and wholesale. Okay? Leave me some comments. Leave me some opinions. I know I'm going to get some ticked off people, that type of thing, but this, this is the deal. Okay? If I was in your shoes and I'm a licensed agent, that's what I would do. Okay? This is Gerald. Y'all have a good one.